Welcome to Neuro3, where we discuss important and cool neuroscience studies in three minutes. Today, we discuss the study of Salehi Najat and colleagues from 2021. Start the clock. Whether you identify as a morning person or a night owl is what is known as one's preferred circadian preference. Salehi Najat et al. wondered whether such preferences are just something you make up or whether this actually relates to brain mechanisms. First, they use transcranial magnetic stimulation or TMS to stimulate the brain. With TMS, the brain can be stimulated from the outside in a non-invasive way, which gives an indication about the activity of the brain. If you want to learn more about TMS, have a look at our introductory video on this technique. So, Salahina Jet and colleagues found that someone who identifies as a morning person shows a larger response to TMS in the morning. On the other hand, an evening person had larger responses in the evening. This suggests that the brain is more active at a person's preferred time, making it easier to stimulate the brain from the outside. Furthermore, they showed that excitatory circuits, which promote brain activity, are more dominant at the preferred time, whereas inhibitory circuits, which slow down the brain, are more dominant at the non-preferred time. So a brain of a morning person is slowed down in the evening, and the brain of an evening person is slowed down in the morning. Next, they looked at neuroplasticity, which is the ability of the brain to make stronger connections between brain cells, which is crucial for learning. The ability of the brain to make plastic changes was stronger in accordance to an individual's preferred time. This suggests that the ability to learn is easier in the morning for a morning person, whereas learning is easier in the evening for a night owl. To confirm these results on neuroplasticity, they actually tested the learning of new motor skills and cognitive abilities. They used a task where people had to learn a sequence of finger taps, reminiscent of learning a piano piece. This movement skill was learned faster and more accurately at a person's preferred time. Also, the brain response to this movement learning, which were measured by electroencephalography, were larger at a person's preferred time. Finally, they performed some more tests testing cognitive skills. What they found is that selective attention and sustained attention, as well as the ability to inhibit distractors, were all better at someone's preferred time. This implies that the ability to focus and not being distracted by your surroundings is easier for a morning person in the morning and easier in the evening for an evening person. And crucially, it was not just their behavioral performance, but also the brain responses measured by electroencephalography confirmed these findings. In conclusion, being a morning person or an eye owl is actually related to the physiology of your brain. Brain activity, neuroplasticity and the ability to learn are increased at an individual's preferred time. So it seems that being a morning person or an eye owl is not just something you make up. Stop the clock. That's it. We hope you enjoyed the breakdown of this study. And if you did, why not leave a like? Also, if you'd like to learn more about this study in more detail, Check out our in-depth discussion with Dr. Salahinejad on this study in the link above. Anyway, we hope to see you the next time.